Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to Navy Football. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler in the booth, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is reporting from the sidelines. Welcome to tonight's game, brought to you by ESPN and EA Sports. This should be a good one between the Navy Midshipmen and the Duke Blue Devils. We're in Durham, North Carolina, where the air is full of football frenzy. The cold night's probably going to affect the crowd more than the players. You can tell it's cold by looking at that lady's thermometer. It's Riddick! The Chronicles of Riddick! So this is where it starts. What's up, little bird? Why don't you fly away? How y'all doing? Came off a great win last week. You'll see a lot of balance with them between the ground and air attacks. They can hurt you with both. And the fact that they're so confident going either way can make it difficult for the defensive personnel to prepare. For Duke, the eyes and ears of their defense belong to a free safety. I look for him to be jumping patterns and easily diagnosing plays against a very average quarterback. Team. What? Now we head to midfield for the I'll admit B-Man had a little bit of an off game last week, but it was against a really good team. I'm so sick of the announcer trashing the B-Man. Calling him mediocre or average quarterback. Suck a dick. Shit. The pregame oh, festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game. Our team just can't get no respect this year. Took us forever to get ranked. <laughs> Constantly, they're like, Demon's not very good. Their quarterback's not so good. I've seen a rabid dog who's better. Cock block and riff, Daddy Baja. Winifred and Gray Blur, the front four. Do we? Oh, he's nuts. Yeah, Brett Bailey got a good hit on the guy. That was about it. They're showing blitz. O'Neal, adjust the play at the line. Adjust this, bitch! Oh, never mind. Drops back. That was a whole lot of nothing. First down. And they make the stop around the... Oh, we still have great difficulties getting pressure, to be honest. Oops, I don't want special teams. Oh, Winifred, get back up. You got this, bro. Oh, get off of me, bastard. Oh, we had great pressure. Oh, come on, guys. Take him down. Yeah, they are running all over us. I'm not enjoying any part of this right now. Come on, defense, you were huge last week against Notre Dame. Yeah! Great hit by Winifred and great catch by Brett Bailey. Defense is like, oh yeah, last week we were good. Check this out, coach. Practicing his basketball skills. Woo, you rub your butt on the ground to celebrate. You poop all over their field. Up at the 13. It's first down. Look at the throw. There we go, Sasser Fred. Nice job. Let's hurry up. Let's go downfield quickly. There we go, Seamus. Nice catch. Nice post route. Woo! He's like super fist up your butt, number one! Get your proctological exams! Brought to you by the Astigo Proctological Council. 
Oh no, Seamus, you got hurt? No, that's not good. <laughs> I wanted to do some hurry up offense. I didn't notice his little French mustache before. From their own 47 yard line, first down. Oh, it gets on the balcony show out there. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A five yard gain. That brings up second and five. From the 48 yard line. Second oh down. man, Seamus is up for the game. Ding dong, ding a poops. He may have changed things up here. Heads off left and he's brought down quickly. A couple, maybe three. No, come on, let's get it first. Keep it going. Keep it going for Seamus, man. Do a team. The other team would injure his what was it? He had a bruise something or other. I didn't pay attention. up now Duke come on big guys oh fucking A go oh, son of a bitch going for a fourth down that pisses me off come on offensive line Jamez broke like three tackles where the hell were you guys uh, even the announcers were like it's not a bad call but Defense just outplayed our offensive line right there, big time. I watch this kind of scream and start punching people in anger, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose my job as a coach if I start punching the offensive line. Trans back up there, Winifred. Not even close, dude. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. It was a terrible throw. The 42 yard line. Second down. Get up, get up, somebody. Thank you. God, these teams love that hurry up offense. Good job! Brandon Madge coming up there. I can't believe they ran there. They had the perfect uh oh they're going for it. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Five wide. Oops, I didn't mean to go over that much. Holy fucking shit. We just can't we don't have the personnel to cover five wide. That pisses me off. Ah! That is my response to that. When you have them on... Oh, get back with him. There you go. Ah, the option to get sacked. Good choice, huh? Choose it some more. Second and 14. Ball on the 19. I'm glad we injured their guy. Lost the ball. Good job, Habbo! <laughs> Habbo's like, give me the ball! You see him tear it out of there and Velmax picks it up. I'm like, Habbo, what the hell are you? He's just like, give me it! I wonder if we're going to get the ball, though. He might have recovered it out of bounds. So the question here yeah. is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came Well, no, he didn't, but we recovered it out of bounds. Will stand. Oh, the play stands? Cool. Did they review the wrong From part the road, of it? 10 yard line. First down. All right, we'll take two. That's something. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. All right, balcony show. You have to be the new um, Sheamus. Looking to throw. Aaron and Yes, Sasafred. Huge game. 
Man, look at that. It's like there's a huge hole in the zone right there. 69 all night long. It's all right, Duke. You guys don't want to win. After giving up the big pass. I see the part of the ah, <laughs> conference. Hands off left and he's brought down quickly. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in their own 47. Yeah, good block. Good block, dude. Oh, and a good spin move by Jamez. I bet he was watching the ballet. He's like, oh, I can do that Swan Lake shit. Let's try it. How do you do it, sucker? <laughs> Here we go. That's a good sign, cheerleader. It's better than the scream one. From the 30-yard line, first down. Oh, weird! Holy shit, that was weird. I was like, no, we dropped it. He's like, don't worry. I'll just bobble it a little bit. I'm gonna miss weird. Both our tight ends are seniors, I believe. We've relied on them heavily this year. P. Oh, wait, it says peel back there. I thought it was a P advertisement. Let's get uh, Shatanki out there, the fullback. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. All right, go in motion, Jabez. See if we can pull someone off. Oh, that was great. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. I don't want to do anything stupid. We had some really poor turnovers. Not that there are a lot of good turnovers ever in a game, but in the last game we played. We will take that into the second quarter, I believe. De oh, wait, no, no, not defense. When we get in the end zone, we should poop on there and be like, it's that dookie. See right there, it's where I go poop, right? Oh, this is the blue devil over there in the upper left corner dancing around. Right, good first half. We're scoreless after one. Whee! What a fullback dive. Oh, shiitake! You almost had it. <laughs> that was super conservative, I will admit, but... Holy... Oh my god! Maybe B-Man should have been in kicking. How do you... Oh. That was a terrible kick. Good job by the defense. They're all over that. All right, special teams. We need to have a big talk later on. I don't have to put the quarterback in as the kicker. You know, the B-man's awesome, but he kept getting injured and tired when he had to do that before and play quarterback. Oh, 29, get your hands up. Haven't you heard the song? Get your hands up, get your hands up, get your hands up. I'm supposed to be teaching you how to play football. The one thing I get frustrated about games like this is I think sometimes the quarterbacks get the ball off a little too quick to be realistic. Nice job, defense. Keep it up, one more time. Hold these bastards. I can't believe we didn't get that field goal. 
Hulk. Go Grabler. He just picked him up like he was a child at a daycare center. Stop crying. Your parents will be here for you soon, number 33. Stopping them and bringing up fourth down. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. God, that was a damn good punt. No we'll oh, mark is still. He's tackled at the eight yard line. Great punt, great tackle. That's exactly what these guys. That was a terrible return. The punter here does a great job, and the coverage was exceptional. They got down the field and didn't give the return man any room to make a move. We got a free play. We will accept that free play. Thank you, sir. That's just a discipline thing there. It's five free yards, and that could hurt. <laughs> As the ghost is like, good job fucking it up, you stupid heads. First and five now after the penalty. They're changing the play. Yeah, there you go, balcony show. Way to fill in for Sheamus. That's a good. Nobody was on him, so. Might as well take advantage of that. I think Acid Goat should open up like a dance school. For the offseason, you can learn dance moves the Acid Goat way. Go, Foxy, go! Number 93 came up, he's like, what was that? We passed on you, son. That's what happened. Ooh, look at all the slutty cheerleaders. <laughs> I don't know they're sluts. I just pretend they are in my mind. It makes it more fun. That one has herphalithus. Good run, Jamez. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Play action and rolling right. Chitanki! Talk about checking down. Man, I wanted to hit Foxy, but I don't know. I would have had to force it into that zone. That seemed like a bad idea. We had way too much of that last week. B-Man was only 2 for 8 last week. That's not a number you often see from a quarterback. Especially not in a game where the team wins. Third down and three coming up. Ball in the 29. He may have changed things up here. There you go, Foxy. Another big first down. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. They say more than that, but we hit our tight ends all the time. At least we used to. I missed the spell back. God, this thing is so slow with the way it switches between um, First down, backs like that. Line it up at the 12. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Oh, who, who fucking jumped? Well, it was encroachment, yeah. You were wrong, announcer. I just wanted to make out with this. Can you blame him? Navy's damn sexy with our aircraft carriers and our Tomahawk missiles. It's very phallic shaped for their pleasure. Go AK-47 Army! Never stop believing! That's four yards on the play. Second down. They can smell the end zone as they line up three yards out. You, we can smell the end zone because somebody took a dookie in there. I'm telling you, it says so right there. Hey, look, there's Acid Goat over there. He's like, I pooped all over this field. 
<laughs> I love Acid Goat. I love how he's clapping too. He's not going to inspire the Duke fans to cheer for Navy, but he don't care. Touchdown, Army! Well, AK-47 Army. How do you like that, Duke? Go back to your ivory towers, where you learn things like mathematics. Good job, Adams. Way not to crap it up like last, last time. I, I, I believe in, you know, encouraging them when they come back to the sidelines like that. Be like, Coach, you're hurting my feelings. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the ten. Uh oh. He makes it out maybe to the twenty six yard line. Let's see if this drive <sighs> has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. I was really happy with their last drive. Put a drive together here to tie it up before halftime. Hey, it's Ozzy Osbourne. Did you ride here on your crazy train? <laughs> Oh, and they threw it to Osborne, I think. Five, five wide. Receiver, you suck nice at five wide. Five. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. Oh! Damn it! So close, Super Bacon. This corner, a lot of credit. He continued to give great effort on the deep pattern. Got just enough in the way of the receiver to knock it down. I'm going to buy him some stick'em gloves. Oh, yeah. The quarterback got popped, too. Winifred hit him. How you like that, quarterback? It's Arbor Day. We're going to plant you like a tree. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Williams is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. Come on, blocking. Please, guys, block. Or don't. <laughs> the quarterback did a really good job in the last tribe of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. All right, we got all our timeouts. Toss. Pass and and yeah, how do you like that? Running on that play. We get all those yards, and we still get out of bounds. Alright, let's get Jamez back in there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. There you go, Foxy. Big old gain on play action. Trying to pull them up a little bit. I, I guess they're gonna run track out there. Woo. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-six. Judging the, by the way our kicker kicked last time, we need to get on like the five yard line to be able to hit a field goal. They go with the back and he's got room. Yeah, Jameis. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Well, that is kind of what we're shooting for. Navy is up by a touchdown. Here's the game. He's Man, he's tearing it up. Gain of nine. Left and right. It's good when our guys are pushing their guys on the ground. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They Anybody remember if we get the ball in the second half? 20. Let's see what they do here. Go AK-47 Army. Nice run. Oh, Jamez unfortunately got injured. Luckily, it's just for a little bit. Up seven points. Holy crap, AK-47 Army. Talk about a huge run. 
No, not QB sneak. Second down and goal. Two yards to the end zone. They put everyone up on the line. There we go. Touchdown, Jameis. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Man, that was a good drive, too. We took most of the time off the clock. I like how Jameis hit that guy at the end. I think Essigal was scolding someone. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It's like, do your mathematics homework. I'm sorry, Acid Goat. I assume if Acid Goat turned in homework, it'd be mostly pictures of stick people making out with each other. It's like it's multiplication. See, the stick people are having sex. Oh, nice pop. Ah. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the Second ball. Joseph. Wow. They'll set up shop at the 22. What kind of shop are they starting? I want it to be a candy shop. I would like to buy chocolates. Little handoff. Drop down at the 34. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates right now, I don't think the run's much of a threat. Oh, sack by Winifred! Boom! That's the way to go in the second. Now, Winifred's having a good year. We're going to lose some of our line. I think him and Grabler, I think three quarters of our defensive line are seniors. Our score here at Wallace Wade Stadium. Navy, 14. Duke, nothing. All right, let's get into the second half. That was a good first half. And we get the ball back in the second. And I hope you're as ready as I am to get the second half underway. I'm super ready. New Marcus, run! out to about the 21. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. They'll get the ball here at the 21-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Drops back well, to screw it. There's all this area. Might as well take advantage of it. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Guy touched his nipples though. I think you should report him, B man. Be like, the man touched me in the nipples. First down, ten to go. Ball you try to get my nipply ball. milk. That's kind of gross. Like seriously gross. He's changing things up. Back to pass. He scrambled. Got the corner. He goes out of bounds at the 44 yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability. Ooh, uh, wait, right did you hear the announcer? He just says B-Man is amazing, but at the beginning of this game, he's like, he's a mediocre quarterback. Now he's in love with him because he had a few good plays. Such a fair-weather fan. It's second and seven. Ball on the 47-yard line. Man, good blocking. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Asigo, are you making some bread? Make me some falafels. It's first down. Sounds good. Oh, why don't you come up the block? A little help would be appreciated. <laughs> Was that 39 or whoever got confused, I think? Oh, that was the fullback. I think I think Shatanki was looking for someone else to block and just got... It's like, oh, what do I do now? Oh, we got a yard. That's the important thing. Third and manageable. Right, let's get into our single back. I want like a corner route. 
No, not play action. We're gonna run out of time if I take too long. Fuck it. We'll go with Sluggo. Third down. Yeah, Foxy, man. It's nice, nice having a tight end who can, you know, climb the ladder there and catch something. What do you mean? Uh, our quarterbacks always have happy feet because our pocket doesn't hold up very long. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's first down. They have happy feet because they saw the movie with the penguins. A I'm, like, I'm a penguin. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Again with the carry. Huge play. It's going to be first and goal. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Well, they've been like a machine. I wonder if Jamez might be over a thousand yards rushing for the season right now. All right, let's get out the big package. I'm not talking about dicks. Nate well, maybe a little bit. Take a commanding three score lead here. Okay, we'll give it to the fullback. They put everyone up on the line. Push, push, push! Yeah! Good block by uh, AK-47 Army, too. Yeah, don't you dare touch the ball, refs. Oh, I don't, I don't know what that is, Acid Goat. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. You don't know where that's been. I hope that... I don't know what that is. There might be little rubber pellets in it. Now we're going to have to go get Acid Goat's stomach pumped again. <laughs> and he converts the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Oh, what's up now, Duke? You guys are very silent. Paying respects to our Anchors Away song. What is it, Walter Wade Stadium? Can it be Walter White Stadium? He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're possessed? Is that what it was? Whee! First down, 10 yards to go. I don't know, this reminds me of high school football. I mean, there's a lot more fans, but just kind of like looking out in the dark night. On a cheap field. Oh, burned. Throws to the receiver. Oh. Incomplete. I don't know where the hell he was throwing. Juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They go with the run. Oh, get him, please. Doesn't like what he sees. Yep, Winifred's not having none of that. They should be able to run better on quarters. No, they don't need to make any adjustments. They can keep failing. We need to do a fake at some point. Go, Dill, go! Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Taking the field again now is the offense. And i got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. That was great offensive production. Everything really came together for them on that last drive. I wonder if their Blue Devil is going to send them to blue hell if they lose as punishment. They'll get off here. I could turn up field for a little more. Oh well. For the tailback. Second and nine. Chitanki, how about we try and hit you? We haven't hit you in a while. There you go. He's got room to work. Good luck trying to take a fullback down. The B man. Well, 11 for 11. Wow, certainly trying to redeem himself after the last game. Stat-wise, last game he did well enough for us to win, so that's the only stat I really give a shit about. First down, ten yards to go. What's up, blue dookie faces? 
I like number 38 on the other team. He pushed Jamez. He's like, Jamez, no, you gotta run this way. And he pushed us for more yards. I think he's a Jamez fan, to be honest. Not that I blame him. Somebody jumped early down there. Oh. Really? Really, dude? We were all set up for a play action right there. You got to get too jacked up and excited. Yard line. It's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Man, all they that to try and get most of that back. Not even all of it. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 36. All right, Balcony Show, we're going to be looking at you. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Drops back to pass. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That's my bad. I didn't have him plant his feet. Wide open. I got too excited. I'm like, I'm going to nail him. I'm going to nail him. Ah! Didn't Looks even like plant the feet. Here. Talk about and screwing up a really perfect opportunity. Bad field position with a good punt here. Oh, that is not a good bounce for us. And they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. God, can I have that pass attempt back? Perfect play, just poor execution. It was all my fault. I just got too excited. I'm like, yeah, mama. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. And he's taken down at the 44. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, but he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Oh, we were bringing everybody and they still got something. They sent the middle linebacker here on a blitz and he was pretty much untouched getting in there to make the stop. I wanted to touch him. With my fist! You get asked to go to fist him. Oh crap. I wonder if Kit Fisto is called that because he likes to, you know, get fisted. <laughs> I don't know how this became about Star Wars and fisting, but still. Habo, please do not allow that again. Here are things I do not like happening. That. Come on, corners. Cover that shit. How did he catch that? We had two guys right there. Did they just... Well, look, it's a duck of all things. Two guys, neither of them get a hand on it even. I don't know why the devil's... Whoa, his legs are weird. I don't know why he's eating um grass, but still. God dang it, secondary. How did you not get that? That's where I'm going to have to have the defensive coordinator ream some guys out. Well, maybe not ream them out, but just make them do laps. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Yeah. Come on, pick up the block. Don't. Oh, God damn it. Safety started coming right at us. All right, let's just go into the fourth. We got a good two-score lead. Despite a couple bad plays, like that defense, last defensive one was really bad. And the one place where I had, who was it, Sassafred wide open. We've been playing pretty solid. That's what I'm talking about. I heard you in the stands. I don't care what you're talking about. Talk about donkey dick for all I care. Oh. That's the end of three quarters to play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. Our hey. score here at Wallace Wade Stadium, the midshipmen, 21, the Blue Devils, 7. They say that, but at the beginning when, like, 
um, Herb Kirkstreet and uh, Mel Kuyper or whoever it is, when they predict who's going to win, they split. One thought Navy was going to and one thought Duke was going to. All right, come on down. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Shit balls. Shitty, shitty shit balls. They're calling an audible. Balcony show, it's all you, dude. You set Sassafred? Sassafred was like, what was the audible? Oh no! The quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable. Oh. He took a licking right there. Who likes getting licks? The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send That's frustrating. I wish he would have come down with that. Back to return it. Hits a low one there. This one will be Way to just kind of block him out there. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive. Zasi, I see. I guess he's got like his basketball skills. And it was really He's nice like, I'm just going to block him out. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He did a good job of picking the defense's nose. It was disgusting. Right on the give. Wow. All the men in the box, and we give up a 10-yard gain. They might have um, personnel matchups that really favor them. Oh no! And down he goes at the 37. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Oh, that should have been busted. Come on, team. Don't you want to win? Wine, wine, wine. That'll inspire them to play better. A lot of them fell down on that play. Maybe <laughs> didn't inspire them as much as I hope. I will buy you a taco. And you will all share said taco. I'll draw eyes on it. Pretend you're eating a living taco. Hey, look, there's Joseph. I wonder if Jesus came to watch him play. Go, Dad, go! Well, I bet the halfback thinks he has the right Odeal stuff. Ah, ah. steps back to pass. open, but he drops the ball. You got punched by match, bro. For what? Um. Talking about some undersized wide receiver. This is a big guy, and you've really got to bring it to knock the ball away like he did there. I don't know who 88 is. Maybe a receiver. Is that for the? Get up there, Winifred. Nice hit. Oh, how'd you like getting beat up? Oh, don't touch our guys. How rude, sir. It's fourth down. Stranger danger, everybody. Looks to pass. Oh, fucking. Oh. Come on, defense. Buckle the fuck down. You buckle fuckers. Oh, I like that. They can run that play a lot more as far as I'm concerned. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. God, there's too much time left in this game. Somebody needs to go steal the four minutes off of it. Uh oh. Here's the game. And it carries the ball for a nice game. Six yard pickup. Come on, defense, just hold them here. Make them kick a field goal. They're changing the play. Oh, we had good pressure. Yeah, Super Bacon! Good job, man. Huge turnover. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. Plus, that's two games in a row where Super Bacon's had interceptions. Yeah, that's right. You don't get none of that. Ask a goat taught you. How do you like getting talk trash talked by a goat? It's first and ten. Ball Who's the, the goat now? You're the goat now. 
Trying to change the play. Yeah, on the balcony show. Man, he's got sure hands. I kind of fear he might have got hurt on that, though. So. Can they make a good throw under pressure? All right, okay, good. He's still out. There you go again on the balcony show. Apparently they don't want to cover him. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Uh, they learned to put someone on him, I guess. But that's all right. We can get back to the run play I originally wanted to do. The halfback with a the carry. They'll bring him down at the 36. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Come on, Duke. You want to lose, too. Because it'll make you feel good. If we go to the national championship, you can watch from at home and be like, oh, we Second lost to these guys. Ball I feel so good yard. now. <laughs> and all your girlfriends will leave you for our players. And again. And down he goes. Jay Mills can have like 72 girlfriends, but he won't because he's a class act. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he can be stopped. They're going to have to start doing a lot more. They're going to be in trouble here really shortly. Nice run there. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Where do we get the fullback out? Shatonki, where are you? It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. It's not going to be long before they start burning timeouts. Oh, we're going to have to audible under that. Touch my butt! Oh, that's how you do that. Touch my butt! Touch my butt! They hand it off again. Another big thrust down. What's up, Duke? When are you going to start using your timeouts? Or accept that you've lost? What is Asigo doing over there? He looks like he was trying to ride a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing the good old squat poppins. And he's showing how strong he is as he takes a crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty built after I dump. You know how it is. First down. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Uh -huh. See, announcer, you're worried too much. You're thinking too much. It doesn't matter if we score a touchdown or not. Right now, we just want to run that clock down. All right, Duke uses a timeout. Second down. Only seven yards from a touchdown. There you go, JMS. Keep pushing. Oh, they're going to use another timeout. They're going to come back with the exact same play. They're at the five. Third down. They put everyone up on the line. Come on. No. Oh, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Defense calls a timeout. Fuck it. We're going to go for it. It's fourth down. Yeah, it's not the biggest deal. If we don't get it, they're going to be way back here. Touchdown! Yeah! Well, there's the icing on the cake. They played a terrific game, and this will put the official stamp on it. Yeah, don't you touch that football. You leave it there forever. Future generations will see how Jameis scored. It will eventually become a fossil. And people of the distant, distant future, the Morlocks, will worship it. It's a giant turd from an animal they don't know. And it's good! Well, all in all, this has been a... Wait, wasn't the flags messed up? <laughs> I get distracted easily. easily. This has been a solid game for us. After two incredibly tough games in a row prior to this, it's nice to have a kind of more normal game. And Duke did pretty well. They hung with us the first half. Second half, we were able to kind of get away. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Let's see if he can shake off that pick that he took. 
sauce last time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Man, our defense has been on fire. Getting a lot of turnovers the last few games. Oh, man, Winifred scared the crap out of him. Come on. Oh, good job, Super Bacon. I would have screamed so hard if that guy would have caught that. And he had to follow it carefully to close in on the ball and to break up the play. Winifred, no! Back to throw. Somehow gets the ball away. Yeah, good job, defense. Nice job, Pavels, all over that. Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Make this the last game, or that's the last game, the <laughs> last play Look that matters. Ball. Sucker! Oh, Habo twice now. They thought they could catch Habo there, and Habo's like, nope, I'm on it. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Williams is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They might as well have gone for it there. I mean, I understand why they punch, but it's basically over at this point. I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. They got four yards on that one. That makes it second and six. I want to do this deep cross pattern. The one problem with this pattern is too often, um, if the speeds are weird, like on the balcony show, and Sass Fred will run into each other. Now on the balcony show doesn't usually do that because usually he's not playing in that spot. But still. Under pressure, tries to get around the corner. Oh, no, no. Oh. The 47 yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Back to pass. Sa oh, Sassa Fred. Seriously, bro? In second and ten. All on the first yard line. Sassa Fred sh 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 so should have had that other catch. Go AK-47 Army. On the balcony show. Awesome job. They were very fortunate to come up with that man. Not the smartest throw that he could have made, but it works. Just makes you a little nervous when he lets that thing go. Look at the throw. Sassafred for a touchdown. We were rooting him up the score. <laughs> yeah. He beat his man off the line and then ran up Oh. Anything that could stop it. He got good separation. I'd say I'm sorry, Duke, but I'm not really. I don't. I don't know if since this is an older game, does it matter if we outscore them by a huge amount? Oh, that was great. <laughs> Maybe that was karma. As it goes, like really, really, we do all that amazing things, and you miss the extra point. B-Man wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, I know. I know. We need, like, a package where the backup quarterback, or the quarterback comes in to kick. Like a quick package. From the seven. And that, sirs and ladies, is the game. I want to thank you all for watching. Final score in this one. Navy, 34. Duke, 7. I didn't want to step on the announcers. How about that, Duke? And he tried. Today's Reese's Perfect Play of the Game. Brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups.
the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, any final thoughts? Coming into this game, I thought that these two teams were pretty evenly matched. So the fact that they won by such a comfortable margin really says a lot about what a great game they played. Navy was so impressive in this win. I thought this was going to be nip and tuck, but they just ran these guys out of the stadium. And for winning today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. For Navy, they just keep piling up the wins. And for the Blue Devils, they'll fall to four and six, and they're going to have to win out to even have a chance at a bowl game. Thank That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 11. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews... That was a good game. It was a fun game. See you soon. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Super Bacon, and I think it was Bailey that had the other one. Our defense has been, just like last year, overachievers. Chautauqua. I love that. How many different people we have that can run for touchdowns? It's like, don't touch my ball. That looks like he's doing something naughty to him. <laughs> All right, let's see the stats a quick second. Remember at the beginning of the game, the announcer's like saying we, how we have a mediocre quarterback? Look at how B-Man did. 15 for 18, 274 yards, one touchdown, no picks. Look at that rating. And they're all like, he's a mediocre quarterback. Screw you. j has had a killer day on the ground. B-Man had some good runs. As did AK-47 Army and Shatanki came through when we needed it. Look at all those receptions. You don't see that a lot in one of our games where the ball is passed that much and around it. Even two number one, one, th and three and four receivers. Dynamite sack didn't get it at all. Yeah, the defensively, our team did awesome. Man, yeah, Bailey had a. Yeah, an interception. Super Bacon had an interception. It's a good game. Winifred was doing awesome too. Got a sack. Man, our team came through again. That's awesome. Well, everybody, um, next week, we'll see where we are. Hopefully go up some in the standings. I don't know I don't how many games we got left. I think three or four left in the season. Not positive. But thanks for watching and hanging out either way.